Thursday Thunder. Adrian, how are you on this Thursday? The I'm quickly going to have a look. I, I know this answer. 18th of May. I'm well. I'm very well, actually. You're very Trained well? already this morning, did some arms. Oh, really? You didn't yeah. Really work out. How many days a week do you train? Because you don't seem to have any days off now. I have Saturday and Sunday off. Oh. I go, I'm on a, I, so that's the way it's worked out really well for me in the last um, couple of months. I think yep. I'm going back to five days a week, but going Monday through Friday. Uh, with Wednesday <coughs> being like a lighter day, being like arms or usually something a little bit lighter on the body. Being oh, okay. as, yeah, I'm doing a new program now, which is fun. Week three into it, week three of six. So it's a lot of fun. Oh. Yeah. You're actually programming? You're not just haphazardly training? Oh, no, I'm tracking. Okay. I'm tracking everything using Train Heroic, you know. Great app, <laughs> fantastic app. Um, I'm actually trying to get the equivalent of lifting a plane in a week. Because obviously it tracks how much kilograms you move over a certain period, like over a, over a weight session. I'm like, well, how much is a plane weight? I think it was like 187,000 kilos, something like that. I'm like, well, well can I cre- can I, I, just, I just thought of something came into my head. What's up? When you mentioned weight, mm-hmm. it was funny, like, because there was a, I saw this thing uh, on Instagram and it was about how Americans will compare the weight of things against anything rather than use the metric system. Elaborate. What, well, yeah, an the, yeah, here? and these were actual news reports and clippings from newspapers and, okay. and, and everything, and like th- saying like a satellite weighing the equivalent of three Indian elephants mm-hmm. fell from the sky. You know, they won't say, you know, 20,000 kilograms. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I get you. I get yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, so it's like how many miles? This mi- plane like is the equivalent weight of two... Icebreaker ships. <laughs> it's like, how, many, <laughs> how many thousands of pounds is that? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at yeah, all. Yeah, but they won't even refer it to in their own thing of pounds and everything. It'll be like the equivalent of sixty-five emperor pelicans, penguins. But, but but that's the thing. You don't. Not everyone's seen an emperor penguin. It's like if you're doing that. It's like oh yeah, I get what you mean now. It's like you know the the. The boulder was had the size equivalency of twenty five bags of Valencia oranges. Yeah, and they go, right. I don't know, a bag of Valencia. That's a big boulder. That's a real. Where it was said, yeah, it weighs yeah. the equivalent. Of but it was funny because it was actual news articles. <laughs> it's an actual news. Yeah, they were sad. actual headlines in, from newspapers and like news reporters reading it and everything. Sounds sad. Anyway, I want to lift a plane. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> you want to lift a plane? Yeah, so I want to, like, yeah. over the, I think next week I want to Why try. Why don't you just aim for 65,000 kilograms? I've done that already. Well, what no, does a plane 187,000 kilograms. Well, that's what you're aiming for. Yes, that's the one. the weight of a plane. No, not in one go, but I think it's like, yeah, because how much did you lift this week? This week? The amount of a plane. What do you mm-hmm. mean? Over five sessions, I lifted the equivalent of a plane. It'd be fun. Okay. It's like, and how's your joints feel? <laughs> Horrible. Anyway, we, <laughs> anyway do, we digress. We do that a lot. All right, what's happening at the shop? All right, right. we've got a few things coming along. First we up, do. we'll talk about there's a new flavor flavor of um, Zombie Labs Cross Eyed. So yes. that's not the new flavor because the new flavor is on its way, most mm. probably in stock today. So they've added a poisonous a passion fruit. Now I don't even think that is a, that's not available in the infected either. No, it's or only in only in the cross eyed. Yes. Oh, okay, there we go. So passion fruit. Yep. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of passion mm. fruit. I like now that it. being said, and we've said this before, that this product has become one of our best selling pre workers Very quickly. Yeah, and very I, quickly. I think it's yep. due to the just one, the sheer amount of caffeine and the fact that once one person has it, they talk about it. Yeah, well, it boils down to the fact that it works. It works. It yeah, does right. what it needs to do. Yeah. Gives you a pump, gives you good buzzes from beta alanine, and gives you good energy from 400 milligrams of caffeine. And then with a half life of eight hours due to that English walnut in there. That's right. Um, yeah. Mm. Great. Product. So keep an eye for that. That should be available hopefully today. If not, I reckon tomorrow. Awesome. Um, now, we've got a Prima Bolic special on. Uh, and this yes. will run until stocks last. So all you have to do is buy any Prima Bolics mm-hmm. product, so anything in their range. We've just bought here the Grind and what have we got here, the Iso Ripped. Yep. Um, and you get a free Australian Muscle Shaker mm. and it's got some uh, Prima Bolic samples in there. Yeah. Um, I think we've only got about maybe 50 50? Yeah. Okay. That's so fine. That's limited. It is what it is. It's first, hard to get First in best dress. So any product... Um, is this the first time they've done 
Uh, sorry, sorry, I mean cut off. But the first time Premier Bollocks has done samples. No, they have it. No, they have. Okay, I've never right. seen them. All. Every they day gave else. us a whole bunch of us and just awesome. told, asked us if we can put it together with the shaker. And yep. what better than our own iconic Australian muscle shaker? Mm. So that will be available. Um, well, now. Well, now, yeah, yeah. now in Do store now. and online. Um, any Prima Bolix product uh, that is limited to one shaker per order. So if you buy three Prima Bolix products, you're going to get one shaker with your order. I don't think you want too many shakers at home, though. No. I think, no. there's, I think there's a limit. Yeah. Four. That's right. Mm. Uh, and then we'll just recap on the chocolate greens. You guys spoke about this last week? We did. Yeah, look, it's still one of our best-selling greens. Uh, we did say that we had a, a shipment come in last mm-hmm. week. Uh, that has been already half sold. So just letting you know, if you want to get a hold of uh, the chocolate greens, we still got some left, but yep. they're selling really, really fast. Very quickly. Very, very yeah. quickly. Yep. One of my favourite greens, actually. I don't mind it. Have you used it? I have used it, yes. Yeah, it's yes. a really um, nice chocolate-flavoured green. Kia likes to use it in oats. Yep, I didn't so when she was nice. prepping, she'd put that yep. in her oats, and that was a little, her little snack. So, oh, yeah, right. I've used it that way as well. It was really nice. Yeah. I can't, I, can't, I can't fault it. It is a great greens. The, co- the cocoa flavour really does cover most of it. Mm. And you don't really have any of that soapy chlorella spirulina aftertaste. No. Which no, is great. It actually just has a nice chocolate yeah. aftertaste. Yeah, Ari, if you could, can you just like enhance that last bit with Kimbo to a drink? <laughs> just really jack up that audio because like. <sighs> anyway, we um, that's about it for shop talk. Apart from that, we are fully stocked. Oh, one more special. I didn't. Ha- uh, I do have it written down here. <laughs> so while stocks last again, mm-hmm. you buy any large Max's whey. Yep. Uh, or Max's protein. So if you get like uh, anything. Uh, Five pound weigh, six pounds, etc. In their mass gainers, etc. You will get a free MyOT, which is their test booster. Yeah, so testosterone support, libido boost, you know, tribulus, diaspartic acid, and the last one there was t- was fenugreek. Yep. So great for libido. You know, couple of t- couple of um, tabs at night before bed, before you know, two at night, two at night, and two in the morning when you mm. wake up. Yeah, yeah, that's available again until stocks run out. Great. <clears throat> it's going to be interesting. Remember three years ago we spoke about um, it, it's like everyone thought the supplement industry was going to end? Yep. Because of all these regulations. TGA. And the TGA yes. put in some regulations and those are coming into play now. Yes. At yeah. the end of this year, uh, in December, all capsules, capsules yeah. will have to have a TGA registration. So they'll have to have an Ostel code. They'll have to have an Ostel code. Good. So it'll be interesting to see what companies go by that route and mm-hmm. which companies. Well, we really, we really know Gentech have always been Ostel. Like they have they've been, always yes. had their labels yep. there, so they're always safe. Yep. Uh, Primabolics, I think they've got some of the Ostel labels already. I'm not too yeah, sure. Yeah, no, I think Primabolics are changing mm. some of their products into powders. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Because if you change it to a powder, it comes under a different guideline. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> because to register a product um, with the TGA. To get an Ostel number is horrendously. It's expensive. stupid. Yeah, yeah. Like horrendously expensive. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you'll find a lot of companies will, if they do have a product range, they will most probably some of that will go to a powder. I imagine things like uh, fat burning type capsules will go to a powder. Even test boosters, mm-hmm. I think, will go to a powder base. Oh yeah, those are the days. Powder test boosters, man, they don't work. <laughs> They don't work in the tent. Ter- they taste awful. Well, they work, but they the taste is because tribulus is such, <laughs> and a lot of these fenugreek. things like Tongat Ali fenugreek. Yeah, these prime ingredients in test boosters taste really, really bad. Very bitter. Yeah. So I remember what was the one? Um, just pure diaspartic acid was awful. Yeah. There was a there was one the beast had one. Oh, remember the blue yeah. beast one. Yep. It was a test bit. Oh, yes. It was horrible. Yeah. But the yep. product was really, really good. <laughs> super the formulation test. was... Was it not a super test? I think it was. Be super test, yep. yeah. Bright blue. Yeah, yep. the formulation yep. was really, really mm-hmm. good, but it just tasted so bad. Yep. Uh, but things have changed since then. Companies got new flavours to choose from, so mm-hmm. um, hopefully they can make things work a little bit better. Hopefully. You'll never get them to taste beautiful. Not not yet. No, we don't maybe have... Maybe you better get them to taste so that you can... Put it into yeah. a little bit of water. Chemists quite, haven't quite synthesised that yet. 
They haven't quite <laughs> discovered that particular strain of a certain flower that's supposed to cover everything better. Not that's yet, right. but in the vastness of world and time, it's going to happen inevitably. One day, <laughs> one day we're like, oh, did you hear that like, you can eat 10 grams of 10,000 kilos of lemons yeah. <laughs> and it tastes like nothing? Yeah. Oh, good times. Um, mm. Before we go, you wanted to chat, talk about something that we were chatting uh, with uh, in store yesterday, mm-hmm. actually. And I was talking about it with Ari as well this morning. And that was about pro cards. Yes. And uh, how many people get pro cards, but then they never compete as a pro? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well. Now, first of all, do you aspire to get a, a pro card? 100%, you're, yes. You're competing in the ICN. You aspire to get a pro card. Yeah. Why? Because I you that. Because I love the competition. Yeah. So um, your your plan would be to compete. Hell yeah. As of a course, pro. yeah. Yeah. I'm struggling not to start a prep now because I know who's competing. Yeah. You know, that's hard for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm seeing everyone's getting real lean and like shredded real quickly. And I'm sitting there going, ah, I just want to do it again. Yeah. Because well, I'll I quickly love- check. I'll digress again. <laughs> yes. Because I put up the ICN um, season B entry went live yesterday. Yep. And about six people entered. Awesome. Within about 30 minutes. Good. And the first one was Scott. So, yes. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to it. Yeah. So yeah, your, your plan is to, to get a pro card mm-hmm. and to compete as a pro. Yes. Yeah. It's really interesting because the whole pro card dilemma, and this isn't, I know I represent the ICM, but it, it's not apl- applied to just the ICM. Every federation is the same. Like they give out, IFBB gives out um, at each of their season A and season B shows, yep. I think they give it out about six or seven pro cards. Mm-hmm. Um, now, in the last five years, can you name any IFBB Australian pros that got their pro card? In the, say, let's just talk men's bodybuilding. We, that's what we're who talking. got their pro card yeah. and have competed again? No, 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 just who got their pro card. David Fideli. Okay, yes. Hasn't competed as a pro. But he only just got his pro card. Well, he got it last year. Yes. Yeah, yes. yes. And that's fair enough. He might want a year off, 18 months to put on more size. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, that being said, I don't, I don't know if he will compete again. Who It'll knows? be interesting. Who knows? Ah, uh, no. no. No, I was thinking Mike Pearson, but he... No, he, he didn't. Lo- he got beaten by a guy called Dave. I can't remember his... Um, Has he competed? No. <laughs> no, I follow him on Instagram and he seems to be just partying around Australia and wow. and doesn't... Looks like a guy who just trains. He's, yeah. he's, but it's interesting because all these people, and you're right, like in Australia, all right, let's – I'll go a broader question. We'll stick with the IFBB because mm-hmm. we know bodybuilding. All right, let's go back in the last 10 years. Okay. Australian pros who have yep. competed. Aaron Pilates. Yep. You're missing one big major. Oh, Josh Lenardowitz. Josh Lenardowitz. Yep. All right, and Josh went on to what, win two – Two IFBB uh, pro titles mm-hmm. uh, and place top ten at the Olympia. Yes, I think both times he could be Yes, in. I think he was in the top ten. Six and eighth, I think. Yeah, respectively, something like that. Something like yeah. that. Anyway, in the top ten, and uh, he's actually making his comeback. I in, saw in Very about exciting. ten weeks' time, so mm-hmm. that'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, and Aaron Pilates. Uh, Aaron keeps saying he's going to train again. He's looking pretty big. I mean, compete again. Um, but yeah, so out of ten years. So each year there would have been two men's pro bodybuilding pro cards given yep. out. Yep. So that's 20 mm-hmm. to have competed. That I can remember. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. And, that's and probably look, more. Mike Hulusi is the latest pro who mm-hmm. won his pro card three weeks ago. Yep. He's competing this weekend actually in the New York Pro. Good. So he is competing, um, which is excellent. But then, then you've got all the figure divisions, you've got the bikini divisions in ICN, you've mm-hmm, got sports mm-hmm, model, et cetera, mm-hmm. et cetera. It's, um, it's amazing how few, they'll, they'll get this pro card and then they won't compete. Yeah, yeah. But they'll go and compete in other federations as an amateur. I don't know. The way I see it is, at the end of the day, bodybuilding, it's, it is a sport, it yeah. is a sport in every right of the, every sense of the way. You do the same thing day in, day out for years. 
and just hone your body to be the best it can be. This can be done naturally or it can be done via enhanced using PEDs, blah, 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 whatever. Does not take away from the fact that both parties do the exact same amount of work and they do little things each day that accumulates to a big total package. That expression can be said across any other sport. If you see a footballer and they go from being an amateur and they get drafted and they're a pro, they act that way. They use their pro status. They have to do it to stay a professional to get paid for it. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you do get paid in some way being a pro if you win, but that's across for any sort of athletic division, yes? Yeah, but that's another comp- another yeah. discussion is you get paid. Mm. There, Let's go back to bodybuilding. There is a number of federations that offer pro divisions, yep. have even pro shows, but they don't pay any money. Yeah. Like Google, Google WBFF prize money. You won't find nothing. And as far as I'm aware, someone can correct me, but I did an extensive search um, and there is no prize money in Australia. I think there is overseas. I yeah. did see some prize money like uh, world titles in Las Vegas and everything that saying that uh, a $25,000 prize pool, etc. Mm-hmm. But I've seen nothing. In Australia, like nothing yeah, for any yeah. Australian shows. Yet, women will bend over backwards, aspire to become a, a WBFF pro. Mm. If the only difference is then technically you're going on stage, you're just competing in another division. Yeah, yeah. That has pro written in front of I mean, at, but again, I guess another thing that people can use the pro status for is to make money. Well, exactly right. And you, know, like and you and might, there is nothing wrong with that. They either. might, like, let's go back to the WBFF. You might not get prize money for being a pro, but you will get approached by companies yeah, yeah. who are maybe wanting to use and, your influence. And that can that will apply to every federation. Yeah, it would. Well. It will yeah. be, again, across the board if so you're a professional. What my... my th- theory is that then they're not really competing for prize money. Mm. Competing for more clout no. and Whereas that sort of information. The only, only federations that I've seen that offer prize money, mm-hmm. and advertise prize money, mm-hmm. is the IFBB Pro League and the ICN Pro League. Yep, pros. Yeah, like yeah. they will offer – and the ICN has never hidden the fact that this is how much is given at the Australian Pro titles mm-hmm. spread into these awards in these divisions. It's yep. never been hidden. You know? Yeah. Whereas every other federation that has pros never advertised that there's prize money mm. or this is how much you're going to get. Mm. Or whatever. Yeah. Well, our <laughs> I feel like we've digressed massively from... Well, we have. <laughs> but, but, all right, we'll uh, get away from that. Yeah. But in the end, I... The whole pro card concept across every federation seems to be more about social media recognition mm. than you going on and competing as a pro. Some people, and there is a small percentage, who will con- go on to compete as a pro, not say everyone, but the majority of people seem to end their competing. Mm. Oh, I've got my, I can call myself, you know, um, Kim Tanska ICN pro. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the end of it, you know. I still believe, and if there's any people out there wanting to be pros or are pros currently with the IC and the other federation, is act like a pro. You're doing this sport to be the best at this sport. Yes. You're trying to make a living, per se, out of doing this particular sport. Every single professional athlete is going to do the exact same thing. They're going to compete. They're going to train at when suits them, not drastically different from getting there being a pro then waiting five years and doing it they probably want to do it every year every couple of years if you're a pro use it don't just sit back and go oh yeah i don't i don't need i can just use this and now and blah 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 act like a professional be the best try to be the best that's the point i don't know i'm just i'm I'm a competitive arsehole at heart (laughs) <laughs> well, yeah, I know, and I know, I know for a fact that you will go through and then compete as a pro. A lot of pros have told me, "Oh, there's no opportunity to compete." Yes, there is. There's two shows a year that you can choose from. There's always if two shows. If you were an amateur, you were only, you're only competing once a year yeah. or once every two yep. years. Well, the same thing as a pro. You've got you've got a pro show in Australia mm-hmm. in May in yep. Sydney. You've got a pro show in October at the Australian Titles, and then you can go to 
world titles, you've got the universe in Korea yep. that has a pro show. You've got the world championships are usually in Europe, mm -hmm. and there's a pro show there. Yep. So the opportunity is for you to, as a pro, to compete locally. You could easily compete locally, mm -hmm. and each one of these overseas shows is then a couple of weeks after the Season B and the Season A uh, national titles. Yep. And you could then go overseas and compete. As yeah. Oh, I'd, I'd yeah. love to go overseas to compete. Yeah. That'd be so and, much fun. Um, what, what more could you ask for? Yeah. It, it is, it's just, I just find it, it's also frustrating. It frustrates me that um, we give out all these pro cards and so few um, people then mm. compete as a pro. What was the statistic you told me yesterday? Um, ICN have given out 500 plus pro cards. Yep. And at the last Nationals, I, I again, I'm not sure of the exact number, but I think there was only 30 or 40 pros. Mm. Over a eight divisions. Yeah. A tenth. Less than a tenth. Yeah. Less than a tenth. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I don't know. Uh, if I rocked up to the Olympics and there was like 20 people there, I'd be very upset. Yeah. <laughs> You're seeing that it was the best of the best in that's those right. particular fields yeah. and no one shows up. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I, I I'm excited for you know, like I'm 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 excited for people like like Scott Scott Nelson. Mm -hmm. If he got his pro card, you could imagine how what a good pro Scott would be. Oh yeah, that he would go out and take advantage of this. Even you, I mm. can see you doing that as well. You know, mm -hmm. um, Sam has competed a couple of times as a pro, and he's getting ready to compete again. Yep. this year. So I'm super excited to see him on stage. You know, uh, and he's a pro in. Two divisions, so yep. he can compete in the men's classic bodybuilding pro show. Yep, and literally walk off stage <coughs> and twenty five minutes later walk on as a yeah, pro bodybuilder yeah, as well. Good. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to see that. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's funny. And then there's other people I've, who've won ICM pro cards that have gone on to then um, compete and get a pro card in another federation. You know? Yeah, yeah. Just collect the cards. Anyway. Um, Look, if you are a pro, send me a message, even uh, and or Adrian, and just tell us why why aren't you competing as a as a as a pro? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think so. Why, why yeah, not? Because yeah. there's so many in Adelaide alone. There would be over twenty pros, mm. ICN yeah. pros, and out of those twenty, really, I could only count maybe four or five that have competed. Mm. You know, Since receiving their pro cards? Since receiving their pro cards. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, look, I'd be interested and keen to hear why. Why, why, why you know, um, are you still training and building to get, because you feel you're not good enough? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but if you won your pro Has card. Has life gotten away? You know, these sort yeah, of things. Yeah, that's right. Because obviously we understand. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like exactly you, right. you got it, you have to. It's not, life gets in the way, it is what it is. But if you feel, yeah, if you're a pro, you haven't not competed in the past since you got it, Why? That's right. Keen to keen to know because I want natural bodybuilding to stay to get larger. I can yeah, be awesome. I, I still think the pro concept with ICM ICN is excellent, mm. you know, and gives you the opportunity to compete at the highest level here nationally and internationally. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Should ask your former coach Brandon why he hasn't competed as a pro for a long time. He's 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 getting ready. Is he doing season B? At least not season B. I don't think he's doing season A next yeah. year. Or yeah. yeah, see, that'd be that'd yeah be awesome to see him back on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the top pros in Australia. Anyway, that's it. Yep, that's it. All right. Thanks everyone for tuning in. As per normal, this episode is brought to you by Australian Muscle and Australian Muscle the Gym and Australian Muscle Online. Yeah, it's free Australia delivery. Still doing free Australia wide delivery. Mm -hmm. uh, and the gym, gym's pumping. And All the time. Check out the gym. Yep. Um, we're constantly doing upgrades. We've slowed down a little bit now because I've got sick of spending so much money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. But um, no, thanks to everyone for supporting us in store and here at the gym. We appreciate you all. Thank you very much. And we will catch you next week. No, we will. <laughs>